Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here with the next video. Got a interesting video I think you guys are going to find very helpful because there is a right way and a wrong way to use a bat spell. And they're so popular at Town Hall 10 right now, especially in these dragon attacks, but there's they're kind of counterintuitive to some extent in how you want to use them. So um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the best way to deploy those five, six, seven bat spells you have um, in this type of dragon attack, but it also applies to other attacks that utilize the mass bat spell effect. Um, so a lot of you might be thinking, well, Town Hall 10 is broken. You just spam the dragon, spam the bat spells, and it is possibly unbalanced to some extent, but um, there's still a lot of ways to fail if you don't deploy the bat spells correctly and also even if the you know hit rates go up to 60 percent or even higher that's 60 percent roughly for both clans so you have to be that much better um than the other clans so it's important that you utilize this correctly and how you want to do it is let me pause for a second on um, the bats move so quickly how you want to do it is you want to use the bat spells on the back end you want to drop them usually with a rage and then all together um, you don't want to spread them out so you save a rage you can use like your other rage if you have it on your dragons and then just spam the bat spells all in one place and you can see a free spell on the wizard tower the wizard towers and the multi infernos if they're there are your counters to the bat spell um, you don't necessarily have to freeze the wizard towers if you are using bat spells near multi infernos you do have to freeze them typically, although as we'll see, sometimes it's better just to have the dragons engage the multi-inferno first and then use the bat spells later. Um, but we'll get to that. Let me um, uh, move on to the next attack as this one wraps up here. So uh, that's how you want to do it roughly. And you'll notice if you watch the attack over again, um, or you may have noticed already, he dropped the bat spells off to the side by the town hall, so they start on the very outer defense. He doesn't want his bats splitting up because they're strongest together. It, it's that whole swarm mentality. So um, let's take a look at another attack, number uh, 13. And believe it or not, my name's being called as a bad example. It, this one did triple, uh, so do give me credit there, but... This was not the best use of the bat spell, and we'll see why. Um, so start off here with the heroes on either side to each grab an air defense. A very good base to use this strategy on. We'll fast forward a little bit um, because the heroes will just do their thing on both sides. Grab two air defenses. Then here come the dragons. Went ahead and used the battle blimp so it could kind of just go across the entire base. Um, and I sprinkled in a few balloons. That's not necessarily um, something you have to do. Um, so a little unorthodox, I am still new to this strategy. Uh, froze there, I don't know how, how good that freeze really was, but you'll see the use of the bat spells is spread out and it's just a lot less effective to spread them out like this. Um, you're allowing multiple defenses to engage them at once and an individual bat spell is not always powerful enough to take out local defenses. Um, now it does help the dragons are tanking a little bit, but you can see one of the air defenses doesn't go down. The bats peter out a lot quicker. And because they're spread out, they're not being spawned within a rage spell. And spying them inside a rage spell is so effective because they keep that rage defect even after they fly out. And the rage spell lasts long enough that basically the entire duration of bats, they're constantly coming out with that rage defect and they're so fast they get that extra damage as they reach defenses. And we'll see that in some of the more ex examples we take a look at. Um, so this one does triple, but uh, does not triple with any outstanding uh, honor. It just kind of is like an okay triple. And like I said, I know this seems a little trivial, but you're going to you know, be failing attacks here and there with this strategy, especially as bases begin to adapt. If you're not on point with the deployment, you're going to fall behind and find yourself struggling with bases because you never learned, you know, the proper technique to deploy. Right now, um, we're lucky facing a lot of these bases that, you know, have single infernos and overall just aren't necessarily set up to defend the bat spell. 
uh, dragon attack that well. Um, so right here misses the queen's ability, so that's something you don't want to do, but it shows how powerful this is uh, when done correctly. It doesn't even matter that much. So a few balloons sprinkled in, um, unfortunately doesn't soak up that Seeking Air Mine. Trying to, I think, get that Wizard Tower taken out, but there's a Tesla there at the top to help out. Um, so anyway, the Stone Slammer coming in, that's typically what people use. Then you can use like a Lava Hound to really go through the base and soak up uh, a lot of those air traps. You can see it's going there to tank uh, towards the back end. And then boom, Rage Bats. You can see how quickly they tear through the base here. And look, you're seeing Raged Bats all over the place, even like very far from the actual Rage spell itself. So that's the best way to do it. You're not going to take out an entire segment of the base. You want to target the uh, back end that has things that are pretty anti-dragon, such as single infernos, air defenses, and as we'll see in this next example, um, it can be wizard towers, archer towers, but you want to do it a little differently in that case. But typically, you have a back end that has air defenses and... Um, a single inferno but not a whole lot of wizard towers or heavy uh, air dps like that you let the dragons deal with that on the front end and then you use the bat spells on the back end dropping the rage and dropping all of them at once in one location that's the way to do it more effective all right um moving along number 18 here a little different and you're gonna you're gonna see some variety with bases sometimes um the way civil serpent elected to go here he's coming at the side that has the air defenses initially with the dragons meaning the back end has wizard towers and you'll find yourself in situations where that's the the better thing to do for whatever reason and you can do it that way but you want to deploy your bat spell slightly differently in that case and we'll see here in just a moment why uses the heroes on one side to funnel Grabs an air defense, I believe, as the king goes through that wall there. Um, at least one air defense, maybe two, we'll see. Uh, CC comes out, so the funnel's created on both sides, pretty much. A nice dragon there to kind of take out the Tesla. It'll also clean up some trash as it kind of moves through the outer layer of the base here. So here come the dragons. They they won't have too much trouble. Oh, we got a live attack going. They won't have too much trouble with the uh, first air defenses since they're right there. And they have a lava hound to help tank. Um, so this side's not too much trouble for them. And then now it's kind of the opposite. Typically you're using the bat spells on the back end for the air defense, like cannon segments of a base. Here we have the wizard tower, archer tower segments. This is all because people typically keep the wizard towers and the air defenses separate. So that's typically the compositions. You have one side that has air defenses, cannons, one side that has archer towers, expos, wizard towers, etc. Um, so it's kind of opposite what we usually see and notice how he's dropping the bat spells not with like a rage that a bunch of bat spells here as we saw um, kind of leading the dragons as we saw in the first uh, couple attacks but drops them with the dragons and that's because there's not like an air defense or a single inferno that's being nuked that you're trying to get down quickly um, and there's also the wizard towers are going to hurt the bats a lot more if they're exposed so dropping them with the uh, dragons, which just kind of helps them still do damage, but at the same time, they're not just going to kind of be roasted alive by those wizard towers. So I think that was a good choice. They also get the benefit of the rage at the same time as the dragons, so you can double up on a rage, get both the dragons and the bats raged up. So it's just extra DPS on defenses that helps, extra tanking, and of course the dragons tank for the um, the bats, which is the big parts, so the wizard towers can't go to town on them. So if you have a back end that's unfriendly, that has multiple wizard towers, um, or maybe a multi inferno in a wizard tower or something, you got to be a little more careful with just putting the bat spells out there because they can get destroyed and you won't get much value. So sometimes in that case, you want to go ahead and just mix it in uh, along with the dragons as they move through the middle of the base. So that was a nice, uh, nice usage there. We'll fast forward this, um, uh, the stone slammer never actually comes out. So it's a mystery what's in there. Although I assume it was probably balloons. Okay. Um, one more here, lots of live attacks going on. It's probably a dragon attack, but we won't take a look at it. Um, one more number 11, little different. And I know this is a bat spell video, but the question is just there. I got to address it. 
what happens when you have, you know, kind of an anti-bat spell base, has two multi-infernos, very kind of separate with this dead space with the air defenses right nearby. Um, the type of base I might build to kind of defend this bat spell strategy and this was a good example of what to do. Now there was a wall breaker fail and let me just say for the record I was actually thinking about this type of attack for this base and use a jump spell here. The reason being it's one spell space extra. You're using the freeze anyway to tank the wall breakers and you're going to have to use you know at least four wall breakers which is already eight troop space. So instead of using one spell space, eight troop space, and a chance that you fail the wall breakers as he did here, just go ahead and use two spell space and then you, that way you know whatever you want to go into the base, in this case the hero is just going to go in. The whole freeze wall breaker thing is overrated, it's not worth it, use the extra spell space, it's only one spell space, not two, it's just a freeze uh, versus a jump, so I just had to say that, um, it was kind of bugging me, <laughs> but anyway. Um, this attack will go on all the same, and you can see no bat spells, but um, taking advantage of the fact that these infernos are on multi, and because of that, can really bully them with the stone slammer, then come through with balloons. Um, so really, if the heroes had done their job, this would have been a lot smoother, because that multi inferno would have been down, the dragons would have just been funneled straight through the core, but that's how you want to do it. Um, when a base has two multi infernos, that's kind of old school dragon attacks, which in this case is uh, is shown here. You can use the heroes, um, you can use the stone slammer as another good tool that's now new uh, that's going to help a lot with dragon attacks. So don't think just because the bat spells won't get much value, you can't do a dragon attack. Just don't force the bat spells. Look for other ways to use the dragons. In this case, the spell space was used for a clone on those balloons, which is often a good thing to use because the bat or because the dragons don't demand that many spells. Just a rage or two, um, a freeze, some haste for those cloned balloons. Uh, gets the job done. Has a poison to spare. That poison, I, I gotta say, it could have been used um, in addition to that freeze to make a jump spell um, in terms of troops or in terms of spell space and would have been much more effective. So keep that in mind. Um, but also, hope this video overall helped you guys. You want to deploy the bats, um, to put it in one sentence, deploy the bats with a rage all in one location, um, not spread out on the back end. So, hope that helps. Sorry I was the bad example, it has to happen sometimes, um, but at least I still three-starred. I'll see you guys later, Bisectatron out.